The thoughts and views and opinions expressed by the host of this podcast are for entertainment purposes only. Again, it is not that serious. It is as real as this world is, which is all a fake stage anyway. We are experienced professionals, so we don't encourage you to try this at home. Why not? My name is Ron Voyage. We live from South by Southwest, and I'm kicking it with you. We like Dr. Producer. Y'all think Rob Brooks the riches. And we got a special guest straight from the buff. Holla at my boy. Hey. Nah, man, it's, it's Ricky. Ricky. It's Ricky. Ricky. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm here, man. We all in Austin. We all here. We all in Austin. Awesome. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm working on some NFT shit. I'm about to drop a project with um, my boy. <laughs> They produce Pyrex Picasso. Mm, yeah, 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 I, got, yeah. I got a whole project with them. That shit crazy. Try to, try to break it down. Okay, now my boy, they, they producers. They out of DC. Yeah. Chop with Rock and Skrilla. But Skrilla is like NFT. Like how your brother is. Yeah. That's how he is with it. Yeah. I've been with, like, he was talking about Bitcoin and shit. Like, Man, like a year or two before Bitcoin was talking about itself. <laughs> right, right. He was real shit. So now I'm saying, so he got the wave with that shit. He doing like, like the artwork is going to be an NFT type shit. Just like how Pirates Picasso was. I'm looking forward to it though, because I want to start learning that shit though. Because that shit is definitely, it's a, it's a, it's a way, it's a way in. It's a way, yeah. I've been making them my own for my own brain, my own music. And I want to learn how to do like how fucking Illmind did that shit. You know Illmind, right? Yeah, the preacher. This motherfucker, he like created a virtual gallery of his artwork where it's attached to a beat. So you can literally go into uh, the metaverse, right? Mm -hmm. And like, like fuck, like what's that movie? The Ready Player One type shit. You go in there and you just see like, oh, this beat, this art piece is this much money. You take out your little wallet and you pay for it right then and there. You come out the fucking matrix or whatever it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I ain't trying to do crazy. that. Crazy. Hell no. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I ain't trying to do that. That's some extra ass shit. What? Hell no. I'm not doing that. Like, I'll probably do that shit like once just to, just to see <laughs> the experience. <laughs> but to like regularly, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm like, not doing that. I'm 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 what you gonna get? Beat. <laughs> <laughs> that should have my fucking looking at you crazy. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Nah, that's crazy. the thing. It is it's though. Already here. Really? I just, I just wrote so a rap yesterday. So imagine shopping online was like that. If you wanted to shop at Amazon, you could get on right. that shit and go walk to the store. Yo, where you about to go to Target? You walk into the like, living room and shit. <laughs> <laughs> where you about to go to Target? Just walk just to the couch and shit. Oh, what's up, fam? You <laughs> buy it in the, in the universe, in the metaverse, and they show up on the doorstep in real life. That's what I'm saying, though. You go in there and buy this shit just like you buy the animal. That's what I'm saying. That's trippy, bro. Yeah, yeah I am. That shit. It's, that's the same shit like they talk about that got that shit. Um, the goggle shit that'll kill you if you lose the game. <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, wait, what? You ain't see that uh, shit? I ain't seen that. I just saw on Instagram. Now they had the Oculus shit. They had the test shit. Yo, see me that. That sounds crazy. I gotta, I'll find it right now, bro. That's like some shit game. They, they, had, they, had like a, they had like a prototype of the fucking shit. And motherfuckers die. If you, yeah, if I you die, the shit it it. kills you. <laughs> I can believe it. 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 I can believe you fuck around, lose. You don't want to play Zelda. You don't want to play Zelda in the metaverse. You fuck around, get stabbed up. Next thing you know, these motherfuckers like laser shooting through you. You just over. Well, your ass walk into the store and talk shit to the wrong motherfucker. I just want to know, like, that shit that's at the top of the head that's sticking out like that. What is this? Like, guns? Three guns? The laser shit. Is that the lasers? Yeah, you ain't seen the simulator? That's the laser shit that shoot out and switch you up. Real fucking laser. Lightsaber, man. It's right out of there, man. <laughs> they call it just yeah. shit right at the right spot. Right, yeah, right, right at the right spot. Yep. Nah, shit, it's a laser. That shit gonna shoot straight through you. 
Uh, Lasers hot as fuck. Yo, <laughs> we're gonna burn straight through you. You know, that's crazy to me that they actually like, like you know, the military is using lasers now. When they war shit, they got lasers. When I was in like San Diego, I rode past the naval base. Shit, that shit would be crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I, I seen this shit on TV and shit, sure. but that shit, I'm like, damn, this is a real Navy base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those bases be sneaky head right there. It's probably one right around the corner where you at. You don't even know. Word, 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 word. They need, they need it. Oh, yeah, because Texas definitely be out of ships. But now I was saying, like, they actually showed that shit on the news of how it worked. Like, it, it looked like just like a little spotlight. So you would see, like, the cops would use with people. The villains would scale buildings, buildings and shit. Yeah. And they would have, they put like a, like a cup or something. Like another ship, like that was a few yards away, a few, whatever you say in sailor language or whatever. They hit that shit point blank and this shit just like, it deploded, bro. Like it was like, it, 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 you would see nothing go through it. You just saw like this blinding light that just flash just for one quick second. It was just like, like in the like 60s Star Trek sci fi. That shit just disintegrated. It's crazy. Word. I was just like, we were coming out of that. Nah, shit be crazy, bro. Uh, that was cool to have access is the power. That's what you got to watch, the power of your body. You gotta protect your mind, dog. So I was watching that motherfucker in China, Korea, whatever that motherfucker had. He's a motherfucker. Bro, that motherfucker had a parade to show off the new weapons. I said, you know, I said this motherfucker is my man right here. <laughs> this motherfucker is crazy, bro. <laughs> man, brought out the whole country, bro. Oh, man, a parade to show the brand new shit we got. Show them what they working with. Bro, that's what we got, man. That's a party, uh, man. We got the uh, ass. Man, you ever, you ever see the actual documentary in North Korea? Nah. This is a good, it used to be on Netflix. I read, I was watching shit with my brother, so, yeah. Like South Korea is really like out of sci-fi. First of all, it's so it's they have sanctions. Like all the countries in the world besides like Russia, all have sanctions against North Korea. So that means like they don't I don't trade with you. Like, cause like US get like they get their shit from China, they get their shit from Russia, oh, yeah, they get some Saudi Arabia, Taiwan, you name it. Imagine if none of those countries fuck with us. But we won't wear it. No, you feel me? Like what we gonna drive to? You know what I'm saying? They they have a lot of lack of resources, like the citizens. You feel me? Just because of the government, right? So that's one thing that's that's trash. And then on top of that, they outlaw anything like like it's almost like that movie Equilibrium with uh, Christian Christian Bale, where he talk about uh, it's like the sci-fi society where the government is totalitarian. So it's like. You can't, they pretty much have this drug that everybody got to take to make them quit feeling emotions. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Because emotions oh, bring things like war, suffering, killing, you know what I'm saying? Hate, all of that so shit. Everybody just walking around with a ton of like like high as hell, zombies. See what I mean? That's what North Korea is. But people have are expected to act like androids, but they really like feel inside. Like, right, shit. Right. You feel me? So if you had uh, any piece of art, right? Like if you were listening to music or you had made this rug or you made that watch or whatever, anything creative came from, was inspired by emotion. So that means to, to the government, oh, you, you're not taking your drug. You have to die now. And everything, your whole shit get burned, the whole existence get burned. Like, they, they literally had a scene where they was burning the Mona Lisa. That's crazy. You know, Korea, if they still watching like tapes, shit you used to watch with Jeff Comrie and shit, you feel me? It's like real, it's a dirty secret because if they get caught, they go to jail. And if you go to jail in North Korea, you disappear. <laughs> Dude, did you see that shit? You see not seen that? Y'all been reading up on that? Yeah. They love to play the black people reparations in San Francisco. Five million a piece. What? what? In San Francisco? <laughs> Y'all got a lot. There's some, there's some stipulations with it. Uh, but you, man, it's going to look them like but, but they pay they they right everybody right. else. It's, a, it's another group. They pay, they pay a certain people five million a piece. Facts. Reparations. Nah, it's been a standoff. That should be on the news for like a week now. It's been a standoff. 
they trying to get they trying to up the score. <laughs> but black people like certain people gonna get five million apiece, and then it's gonna be another group of black people that's gonna get um uh, they gonna get paid like weekly up, but they're gonna get nine hundred seventy thousand a year. But that that's the one that's probably gonna be the most common one for certain. I mean for people. And 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 then they got then it's another bill. I think this is what's really keeping the shit because I don't think it's a money thing. This is America. We the motherfucking richest and poorest country. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, so I feel like it ain't a money thing, but what it is is they got uh black people got like a shit in it where they trying to buy they can buy houses for a dollar. They can buy property and shit for a dollar. Like on some real slavery shit y'all owe us this. Our forty acres in the mule type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, facts. Yeah. Man, yo, y'all, y'all should read. I've been, I've been following it like lightly, but I've been yeah, reading yeah, it because that's crazy, shit. bro. I got a dollar. Shit. That's crazy. Like they try to get black people five M's just because like slavery. Mm-hmm. That shit gonna shake the country up, bro. For real though. If them people get paid, and that's another thing I think that's all. If them people get paid, like man, that shit gonna shake the whole United States up, bro. Mm-hmm. That's big. Niggas thing. gonna want theirs. What's it? Hey, listen. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> gonna want theirs, bro. Hey, if I don't want to get, if I don't want the black vote, he know people. He know that shit. That's this shit gonna be the ultimate PPP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean we can run up and not go to jail for this shit, nigga? No, you mean the fuck? This could be a me, my nigga. The America about to pay us? <laughs> right, you know, right. they gonna try to knock off any nigga with a felony, any nigga with a dance, you know what I'm saying? No, it's gonna be, they gonna have they gonna have But they gonna still have to pay everybody, though. Niggas, niggas gonna be calling dead people. Niggas gonna, you know, that's, that's, niggas gonna need 20 mil like they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, my thing is this, like, if they pay all the Americans, <laughs> at least one, well, not all the Americans, you was rich, you didn't get a stimulus check, but I would say 90% or 80% of the U.S. population at least got a dollar, $2,000 from the shit. government. That shit was up. Hell, I ain't getting no money. <laughs> <laughs> you get no money, Ah, shit, hell, I wish. <laughs> I, I just did, I just did what, it was just too, that shit was, that shit was, too good to be true, but but it really was happening for my fuckers. Hey, I got yeah. my shake. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Now I know a couple niggas and buff them. Yeah, I got, got crazy. I used to get that shit, dog. They be like, hey, nigga, you heard about that shit? Go check your shit. I check my shit. Man, right in there. Just imagine, man. That was like, no fucking. And my whole shit was, cause I'm like, man, this shit gonna fall back on niggas. Watch, man. I'm telling you, shit gonna fall back on niggas. Not PPP. I don't know if that's what you think I'm talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, nah. Hell no, it ain't what I was on. I'm talking about that stimulus. Still, just like no, there was like the check. No, oh yeah, the stimulus was hitting. The stimulus was hitting. Unemployment. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, it wasn't unemployment. It was just you make a certain amount. Yo, the Obamas. We closed down everything, bro. Like we know we gonna need a little extra money. Or you lost your job, you know, hit a little something to take off the the edge. You feel me? Like a little extra something. Go shopping so low, but that shit changed for me. That was the shit. Right, you know what I'm saying? I put that shit right in crypto. Nah, okay, okay. So y'all was getting nah, but shit. That's like that was like how that shit was PPP. <laughs> now with a PPP, you got like that back. shit. You gotta claim yourself as a business. You gotta, yeah. you gotta right. say you got employees. Niggas were saying they got hundred employees just running it up. They don't even know nobody. Still, <laughs> like, shit, you just Still, chilling shit. and do shit. Got nah, extra money. I had shit. I, I had shit. I was working. I had a job. Come on, nigga. Still dropping money. That shit was just coming to like your debit account. Yeah, it was like your bank account. As long as your debit account was applied to the right places, that shit was just. Or, I think I heard about that too, bro. I know for a fact. I, I, I was getting the unemployment shit. Yeah, if you got kids, that's the that's, 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 that's unemployment shit. You get the car. They was putting like six hundred on that motherfucker every yeah. motherfucker in two weeks. Yeah, nice. yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know what I'm like, yeah, this is real right here. Yeah. Quick little run up. I'm like, hell yeah, quick little run up. I'm like, yeah, all you gotta do is claim your, all you gotta do is go claim your hours on the site every yeah. motherfucking Monday. 600 are coming for you, baby. Yeah. Some motherfuckers just getting paid his ass, though. Easy. 600 was like the minimum. Easiest job I've ever had. That's no problem. <laughs> Trump was giving out that money. You know? Trump was giving out that money. Obama started giving out the money, but he that was late though. He thought he was doing everybody a favor with Obamacare. 
Like, bro, you know we only gonna have this shit for four years, bro. As soon as they get you out of here, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> you know, first thing that happened. First thing that happened when Obama got out of office. Yeah, Obama care be over in twenty days, man. <laughs> you got it. Like, you might want to re-register with health insurance. <laughs> hey, I'm still on Obamacare, so it ain't over yet. For real? Hell yeah. Man, man, my shit got depleted. That shit was like left office with him. I got a life insurance policy through my my motherfucking record deal. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, that's the oh, empire, right? Yeah. I'm not signing the empire, I'm signing the monarch. He won't. We want Yeah. Fucking. No, that's the new law. Record label law. You got to sign life insurance. Yeah. That shit been in the third paragraph on the contract. Really? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Something happened to him when I asked you to use this money. We need to get this money back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I thought it was for you. Like, like if you die, like, the no, money, the money go to, you know, the kids. Right. There's some stipulations like that in the okay. Some yeah. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Got such and such for you. I'm saying, and then we'll take care of this. Name hey, beneficiaries. Hey, you know what? I'm talking about shit like that. Hey, you know. I don't even like to bring that kind of energy to this. Bro, I ain't said that shit lasted a motherfucking long damn time. Hey, no, you got this. I was there. Like, what you got? What you, what you rolling up? Nah, this is some shit I brought from. Nah, I bought this from the crib. I just put it in this bag. This is my shit right here, though. This is uh, Hit Skeets, Shopping Hits. You know what I'm saying? A company I work with out of Cali. Uh, this is my shit right here. I came up with this. Oh, shit. Yeah. You got any more? Yeah. You got any more? I don't. I don't. I go to I go to LA on Sunday though. I'll, I'll have some for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the uh, joint right there. Huh? That's not the joint right there? Nah, this is just some shit I had. Honestly, I just brought this from above with me. Yeah. Some gas though. I'm definitely high as a bitch off that back. But yeah, I got three strands of weed, three flavors, all through hits. Oh shit! Um, they in LA right now. Uh, they got a they got a dispensary called Lifted. Yeah, LA, I got this shit in my on my Instagram. Yeah, yeah, go but to yeah, it. I got, uh, yeah, check it out. Pretty boy, pretty boy Ricky, right? Pretty Ricky High, pretty, pretty Ricky High on everything. Yeah, I got HG Gelato Forty One. I got a uh, Tropical Ricky Rascals. Yeah. And then I got regular Ricky Rascals. That's just, that's a variant though. I switched that shit up regularly. What type that of shit strains like, are those? Like? My both, the five two shits, they hybrids. Hybrids. So yeah, and the consensus team was gas. And yeah. rapper weed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> said rapper weed. And I picked oh, the shit out myself though. You know what I'm saying? I go yeah. over there, I smoke the shit. Nah, that's the one we using. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, so yeah, I'm going. I, I smoke his ass. Yeah. I, I smoke with Snoop Dogg. I smoked with my fucking. I wasn't smoking with Snoop. Snoop. Snoop was cool as fuck, bro. Like, and he don't, and he said it too. Uh, we yeah. have, he was uh, filming, I want to say he was on Tonight Show, or he was on Jimmy Fallon. He was on one of them shit's late night shows. Yeah. And we brought the shit to the trailer, we brought him some butcher breakfast shit. And you know, he right in the shit, got the suit on and shit, like he about to do the shit, but he like that. Yeah, I'll roll with some of this up first, nephew. <laughs> He's like, man, y'all boys better roll y'all up more because I ain't sharing this one. You know what I'm saying? Sitting there high, smoking. Then the other time, we was uh, we went to Snoop when he had just did the death row shit. Oh, like yeah, party. that shit was fire. And we, we he had like, he got like a compound and shit. We had went up there. Everybody was up there. Mad OG, West Coast niggas. Yeah, that shit man. was crazy. That shit was fire. Yeah. But we had ended up falling in the studio. With Fabby, shout out Fabby, uh, my boy Doe, and uh, Hunk, Fab Hunk, he <laughs> did the Hunk, Hunk, the Hunkster. Uncle Fab? Yeah, 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 he, yeah. You know, he funny Mr. as hell. Mr. Fab. Yeah, Mr. Fab, Hunk. Yeah. Yo, yo, he's so hilarious. But we ended up falling in the studio with them. I said, they put the shit all on the ground, I'm in the back. You know, I'm just it's That's stuck it, man. Like, that shit was cool, I ain't gonna lie. That shit, like, damn, it's like a bunch of snoop. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I did a lot of shit, man. My resume down there full of G's. Yeah. But I still got wild shit to do though, you know what I'm saying? Right. I got I got a complete resume though. Right. Now, I, I, I do got a question for you. Like yeah. speaking of grinding hard and get it in, I see you out here, bro. You got the weed on the trans, you got the music jumping, you about to jump into the blood game, get your yeah. own NFTs, man, you got everything going. So imagine like 
you got partners out there on the side. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you see the potential in them. You right. know what I'm saying? You tell them, hey, bro, this will be on. The way he was already going, just jump on. Right. Don't want to talk to Bullshit. What do you do? You keep, you keep poking at the tail, or you just. Nah, man. Just at that point from experience, you gotta, you gotta understand. You gotta get them to understand that y'all my homies, y'all my boys. We can, but y'all not my business boys. <laughs> so you gotta go get you some business boys to show them, like, nah, this is what's happening. You understand what I'm saying? Like. Like coming from where I'm from, especially Buff, y'all know. Yeah. Buff is like, Buff niggas don't believe until you prove it type shit. You understand yeah, what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. So, and, and especially like a homie or a nigga that really know you, like, man, this motherfucker. <laughs> talking, talking about you about to start making rugs. You about to go crazy. And everybody yeah. got a little smoke this weed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you tripping. Yeah, Remember when you talking about you about to make rugs? <laughs> This weed, bro. <laughs> then yo, when I start really profiting off of rugs, niggas like shit, bro. You need yarn. <laughs> shit, nah, you gotta make and it's a few believe. things I noticed from that, cause like one thing, boom, like I could have always made rugs, but the motherfucker ain't an artist until they believe in themselves that they're an artist. Ah, hell yeah, you know, bro. So self confidence is always the best confidence. You believe in yourself, you're an artist. And then also on the flip side, just because you consider yourself an artist don't mean shit. Cause, uh, at all. You, you consider yourself that yeah, that's it just means the shit without the work. It don't mean shit without the work, bro. Right. Cause a motherfucker <laughs> with a bless you, a motherfucker with a with an idea and a in a in a faith in itself really ain't shit. No, for real. It's mean, just shit. the title at that point. Yeah, yeah I love you, know you bro, but you still just want to remain growing until you, you know what I'm saying. Until you understand until what's you really going on. That's a fact. Until you understand it, bro, like but then, like, also motherfuckers be like, oh, man, I can't get no team. Motherfuckers ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying? They ain't believing in my vision. No, it's because you're seeking anymore. the wrong workers. You're seeking the wrong employees. Nah, well, I, I stopped seeking. Yeah. You don't just go on Indeed to get a job. You go on Indeed to get a specific job. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You're seeking the wrong. God, niggas be trying to hire the homies and shit because yeah, it's cost efficient. The homies might win the, the homies might even do it for free. Yeah. But the homies ain't the people to do it. Right, right. right. When they roam you as the Romans, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to get people out of that field. Yeah. And that's what I'm working on now myself. You know what I mean, because I did, I did my, I put my pain in, my groundwork is being the homie. You feel know what I'm saying? Right. Now my shit is starting to become synonymous with my face. Mm -hmm. So now I got to build my situation now. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with my career. It's time for me to build my situation. Like you said, I got my hands in all types of shit. They guess who met, they call, they call this, they call these folks and I pick them up. Yeah. Don't nobody else. You understand know what I'm saying? Same deal. We hit you. I gotta get management. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a team, bro. The team take you. That being said, my name is Ron Voyage. She's Black Doc Producers. Big Rob, Brunson Riches. Ricky Hyde. Right. You already know the vibes. Yeah, to be blunt. Leaving no stone left unturned, no leaf left unburned. Good night, y'all.